Right then, let's take a look at the teams. First of all, Scotland, Brian Eason makes four changes to his starting 15. In the backs, wing Ling, Liz Musgrove and fly half Sarah Law, both promoted from the bench. Helen Nelson captains the side as she switches to inside centre. In the forwards, having made her debut against England, Evie Gallagher gets her first start at six, while her Stirling County teammate, Megan Kennedy, she comes in at tight head. Moving on to Italy, where the head coach Andrea Di Gian Domenico has made three changes to his starting 15. In the backs, Padova's Vittoria Ostini Minuzzi comes in to wear 15, pushing captain Manuela Fulan onto the right wing. While in the forward, Stad Rene Hooker, Melissa Batoni is promoted from the bench, as is Romagna Flanca, Francesca Scorbini. Onto the benches, we could see Scottish debuts for Evie Willis and Corinne Grant. While well, the Italians have called in Michaela Merlo and also Oro Mutsu. We're underway then in the final pool match of the 2021 Women's Six Nations. It's Italy who've managed to get their own ball through Scorbini. Take a step, take a step. That was quickly picked up by Giordano Baratin, supporting her trousers. And here comes Rigoni. Rigoni's still going. Rigoni gets the first score of the match as the inside centre slides over for her 10th try in an Italian shirt. Yeah, that was really nice interplay from the Italian backs and just showing what they can do. You know, last week they showed they wanted to keep the ball alive and that's exactly what they did there. You know, Furlon just hitting a really nice line, getting her hands free and getting the ball away to Rigoni, like you say, and a brilliant finish. And last look at this one, it was pretty direct. There goes Rigoni straight over. A lot of scrum cats out there in that Italian squad. And uh, Rigoni there win the yellow one. She it's went on route side. one. It's Italy's backs. It was a tricky throw for Skeldon, and Italy were there waiting. As we said, there is a breeze out there. Not bothering the Italians at the moment. Here comes Sillery. That's gone all the way from one side of the pitch. The other is the captain. It's none other than Furlan. She's going to finish it, surely. She's over. You know. Furlan, the Italian captain, goes over. That is her 17th try for Italy. And they are absolutely flying here at Scotland. Overthrow just slightly over. Um, and then just brilliant counter-attack from Italy. Their backs again showing just what they can do and that speed from Furlan on the outside. She really turned on the gas there on the outside as well. She did some great carrying in the fixture against England. 97 metres she clocked up. Well, it looks like she wants to clock up a few more here at Scotstone as well. You, Italy? Line is you. Right then, look at this for Scotland. Five metres out from the Italian line. They've been talking about belief in the I Scottish cap. This would be a moment to put that into action. Wait. Short up the front. Wassel takes. Say again. The Scottish forwards power in. They've got a bit of a movement going now. This is looking good from Scotland. They're still going. It's over. Scotland score their first try of the fixture. What was number one? Lana Skeldon had that one up the jumper. And Scotland are back into the match. You see Scotland there getting into a really good position quickly, which they didn't do against England. You know, you saw consistently them all got sacked. Um, but you can see there that our, our um, lifters are working really hard to put themselves in a good position. You know, now we're, we're within two. And like we said at the start, Scotland have just weathered that Italian storm. Well, bit on. of a... Sloppiness there from Scotland has given uh, Scot oh, Italy the there. opportunity. Good strong run coming in by Duca. Hold. Advantage over. Here comes Batoni. Over the game line. Baratin supporting from Guy. Release two. Good, thank you. Baratin, Rigoni, Sillery. Very soft hands, and it's worked beautifully for the Italians. It's Arigetti who touches down. Just soft, beautiful moves by the Italians, and that's their third try. Scotland will be disappointed. You know, they've just got within two to then give away um, another five points. But yeah, that's well read there, and a great little pop into the space. Italy are always looking for those little 
extra passes to kind of draw in the defender and then into the space. And Araga is absolutely flying there. Nobody's stopping her. Mugoni. Comes towards the near side. Big run by Aragetti again. Made a debut back in 2012 against Scotland. Clearly likes the fixture. Good decision. Well Stolen done. ball by Rigoni. She's off, she's flying. Barrettin is there. She's got Rigoni on her shoulder. Step from Barrettin, still flying. Rowley manages to track her down. Not on ball, never on ball. Still going here from the Italian Skofka. Giordano collects at the base, feeds to Scorbini. Hold. Oh, that was so easy from Ostini Manuzzi. She saw there was no one at home for Scotland. Slid round the corner, and that is the bonus point try wrapped up. Oh, that looked high. They were calling. Thank you. Nikki O'Donnell has just been fed that in her ear. I'm guessing number four. Advantage then. As they keep going out towards the far side, okay. Falat just hasn't got any space to do anything. Hold on. You have penalty advantage. So this is a free shot for the Italians. They know they've got that penalty to come back to. Hold. Maritain has got Arrighetti. Oh, they keep firing away down that wing. It's going to be Falat who goes over. Finally, the pounding away, and it is Falan who goes over for her second. Just one after the other, um, and they were getting nowhere, it just stayed patience, and then <laughs> that woman on the end of it again, Falan, uh, really knows her way to the try line. Everyone wanted a piece of that ball. McGurney's the one in the end who gets rid of it. Good, thank you, too. Yes. And here comes Maurice. Off the bench, fresh legs making meters advantage penalty advantage as well here for the italians big breakaway here here comes giordano she's looking around to see who's with her advantage Baratin still New going advantage for offside well the advantage is over but italy are still wide. going Baratin looks up still what a surprise they're going to flood that left wing again it's rigoni she goes over Rigone once again flies over the line. That's her second of the match. And I think that will be it too much now for the Scots to come back. And, and is that the big difference between the two sides today, Rachel? Scotland can get these phases together, but the Italian defence is just held. While as once the Italians have had it, they've managed to find the holes. Wait. Well, that was a great throw by Skeldon. And here come the Scots. This was how they got their first try. Can they repeat the trick? Who's got the ball? It's Skeldon there. Just holding it so preciously in the crook of her arm. Not going to go over this time. Maxwell. Advantage offside. Big push going forward. Lisa Thompson is there. Release Bloom. Line, line. You have advantage for offside, girls. Sneak round the corner. Not to be. Catigan is there, waiting. Use it! They think they've snuck that one over. Line. Scotland get their second. It's Emma Wassel who goes over. And they do make that dent on the... Reaction just shows how much it means to Emma Wassel. She is so important to that line-out, and that's exactly where it started. A brilliant, a brilliant drill, sorry. That lift, jump, throw, all on point, and then a brilliant finish from her diving over the try line. Brilliant to see. Set, hold. <laughs> Stefan gets the ball in, and here comes the big shove. Stefan told to leave it. It's being held at the base, but it's not controlled, so they have to use it. Ragoni again, the big pass out wide. There's the captain, Fulan. She's over again. Fulan, another strong contender in this fixture, and that is a hat trick for the Italian skipper. And if they take their time for this uh, conversion, if they use up all the time, there won't be the restart. Looks like she's okay walking away there, Fulan.
Well, she's got that one as it's blowing a bit of a hoolie here. But that is it. The Italians take victory in Glasgow, securing their place in the third, fourth playoff, where they will be taking on Ireland. It means that Scotland will be taking on Wales in the fifth, sixth playoff.